you doing folks? Ronald Kenyatta here with TotalHumanElevation.com. I'm here today in the sweatshop outside of, uh, outside of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to go over exercises for rapid arm growth. Um, a little information about myself, strength and conditioning coach in professional baseball. Um, I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist as well as a performance enhancement specialist. And now, like I said, I want to get into some getting the guns, all right, getting our swell on with the guns right here. So I'm going to show you four exercises, two for your tricep and two for your bicep, all right? And um, there's no tricks of the trade here, you know, you just got to get after it, you know. Work hard, I'd say repetition-wise, you can go between 8 to 12. But it's all about the intensity, folks. It's all about getting after it using good technique. I want to go over the technique as we, uh, as I show you each exercise, I'll, you know, give you the coaching points you need to maintain that good technique. And from there on out, you just got to work hard and get after it, like I said. So I want to start off on the ground, all right, with some lying extensions. And this is similar to a skull crusher, but we're going to be doing it with dumbbells. All right, start off in this position like so. You rotate the dumbbells and go down closest to your head, head as possible and extend back up. All right, lying tricep extensions. Simple exercise. Keep your elbows close. Don't let your elbows flare out. Keep your elbows tight using good form and extend out. When you're coming down, get close to the head as possible and extend out. Don't move the elbows. Don't flare them out. Don't let them go down. Keep them in one plane of movement right there, all right? So you have lying tricep extensions. Now we're going to do the good old dip, all right? Basic dip. Only thing here. Once again, try to keep the elbows in a good, uh, in the same plane, and also try to, you gotta work the full range of motion, all right? So, I'm gonna start off like so. Coming down all the way, driving up. All right, there you have it, your dip. Now, my elbows were tight, I kept my elbows pretty close, and also I was going through that full range of motion, and that's essential when you're working, that, uh, working the dip exercise, all right? So we have two triceps, now let's get into the biceps. I'm gonna start off on the other side of the gym with our preacher curl. All right, folks, now we have our first bicep exercise. We got two nice tricep exercises for you. Now let's jump into the preacher curl for your biceps, all right? You sit down like so. Take the bar down. I like to grab it right here with a closer grip. All the way down, all the way up. There's nothing fancy, nothing different. All you're doing is worrying, all you're worrying about is the full range of motion and controlling the weight. All right, here's your standard preacher curl. All right, we have one more, one more uh, bicep exercise for you. It's going to be the incline bar dumbbell curl, and we're going to take that back to the other side of the gym. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, folks, so we have our last bicep exercise. We want to do the incline uh, dumbbell curl. I'm a big fan of this because it forces you to use good technique. The, first, the common mistake with this exercise is momentum. People don't rock that, use that momentum to get that dumbbell up. So we're going to start off palms up, and all you're going to do is curl up, control it on the way down, eliminate the momentum. I also like to go one arm at a time. That also helps to eliminate the momentum. This is a great exercise, getting that, force you to get that full range of motion. All right, let's do one more and switch it up. All right, now switch it up. All 
right? And just a variation, you can also do hammer curls from here. What that does, it hits another muscle called your brachioradialis. That's a muscle that runs underneath, runs underneath the uh, bicep. So, all right, folks, there are your four exercises for rapid arm growth. Technique is really important on getting some guns, as well as intensity. You want big guns, you got to work it. You know, you got to be consistent with it, and you got to hit it hard. Uh, I'd say anywhere between three, you can go three to five sets, you know, repetitions around eight to 12. So there you have it, folks. Get to the gym, bang out these four exercises, get your swole guns. And once again, it's Ronald Kenyatta. Hope you enjoy this segment. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.